Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, so uh, I've, I've been quite busy <laughs> recently, so I haven't had a chance to um, go through all this. So um, uh, so today I'm going to just quickly uh, just uh, uh, show you how to use a uh, Dynamo to <laughs> to uh, create these patterns. Okay. So this is uh, so. Um, a model we did last time, but actually I did, I didn't do this uh, in that in that video. Uh, I just have a play, but uh, today um, I will show you how to do it. Okay, so first I'm going to. Uh, I think you should be able to find this. Oh, did I? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, I think I've uploaded. Should I should have. Uh, upload this family so uh, yeah if you can find this just download it and I'm going to just go delete okay so press delete so to delete the pattern and I'm going to just uh, uh, oh sorry wrong one uh, divide, use divide the surface so I'm not going to maybe I'll just reduce the number a little bit just maybe 300 by 300 so it's totally um, 900 panel okay so so how uh, to do that randomized so first we need to choose so have this pa uh, panel right so this is a very simple panel so just a um, curtain curtain wall panel we uh, curtain panel uh, ge uh, sorry generic model pattern based uh, family okay so or, or or curtain panel pattern based so it's a pattern based family so if i so now if i tab select one of them right so and then edit edit family so i say this is very simple just create a new family select the you know reference line and then create a form and then create a surface and then we also create a parameter okay so go to family types so we see this is a parameter material parameter and then it's you know it's a, an instance parameter okay so okay so now I'm going to go back here so which means you can tab select if you want to you can go t uh, give the material okay so before we uh, use Dynamo so first we need to add some materials so go to manage materials so here I, uh, I create three different ones or one two three I call them one two three and also I just make them slightly different color so you can see under appearance or you can just do graphic so which uh, currently they're the same maybe I'll just take this box so it will match the appearance okay so white gray light gray dark gray okay so which um, means if I tab select one and then here type in name one it becomes the one okay so uh, maybe I'll change this one to shade because I used graphic so the appearance setting so if I go to sorry go to materials again so appearance so this color so it's for the um, it's on the, uh, for the uh, realistic okay so view and graphic graphics so this color is for shade okay so shade or consistent color so okay so now I'll try to give material to the other one so this is one this is two this is uh, three and also currently we are under shade and also because I if I type GD because I set this lighting quite high so it's it's all quite um, light so if we reduce this you will see start to see difference okay so yeah it's still a little bit yeah so can see the difference now or you can just do consistent color so it will always this color will always match that uh, in the material uh, that and the color in the uh, graphics this one okay and also uh, I think it's probably because there's uh, some ambient shadow there as well uh, here uh, looks like it won't affect uh, consistent color but if I change to shade so it was changed slightly okay so now let's go to uh, Dynamo 
it's uh, very simple. So this is uh, something, uh, this is the only thing I'm quite familiar with. I mean, the Dynamo thing. Uh, yeah, I'm familiar with. Okay, so don't worry about this. So let's just do it, uh, do, uh, create one from scratch. So first we need to um, uh, create Oh, and also just make sure so that dyna dynamo won't uh, work um, in modeling place mass only conceptual mass okay so so first we need to select so go to revit element selection oh hell selection <laughs> okay all fa uh, family types i believe family types yeah that's the one and then oh, maybe I'll change it, this one to uh, manual. So uh, all element of that family types or yeah, connect. So if I click on run, so this will give us a list of 900, so 900 family, right? And then we just need to right click set parameter by name. Okay. So element connect to this element parameter name. So if I go back here, so you'll see if I tab select one of them so this is the material uh parameter i call it ma so I just need to double click oops sorry ma okay so this is just just uh, a text okay and then we need to link we need to oh so, so yeah that, this is correct so parameter name is M M A, and value value needs to be a a material okay so the material currently is the, the name of the materials are one two and three okay so we need to have you know one and also need to be this is one if you need to do it this way so uh, so this is a text okay so if you do if you just type in one this become a number Okay, so we need a text. So I'll just control C, control V. So I think you can probably just type in one, but yeah, I'll just want to, I'll just do uh, three. So yeah, and I'll just uh, create a list. Okay, and just click on this twice. One, two, three. So now this is a list with one, with three text, one, two, and three. So how many do we need? Um, we need 900, right? So uh, let's just do a count. So this will count the num uh, a number of items in this list. So if I connect this to this, let me just move this to here. So this will, if I click on round, so this will give us 900, right? But we want to, you know, this one times this one, so multiply. Uh, we don't want to multiply 900 because it becomes 3, 9, 20, 700. So that's too many. So what we can do is we can divide, divide by 3 because we have 3 material, right? So, um, uh, 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 <laughs> so this is 900, right? So divide by 3. So now we have 300 and then 300 times this three become 900. So that's, and just, oh, sorry, not X times, right? And so this will give us 900 list. So, oh, hang on. Uh, no, no, no. So 300 times, oh, sorry, not times, this time, it's not number anymore so this is a list right so a list we need to use a cycle okay so a cycle this is a list and this is amount 300 times so this will give us a list with 900 um 900 uh, currently text oh no oh yes text and then we need to convert the text uh, into material so we need to material by name uh, material category material name get to material name no not like this one get structure material get to material from a no, by name select the material from the current document by name oh, i think this is it okay so now we link this one and 
run again. Let's have a look again. Yes, so now we have 900 material in this list. But if I link this one to this and click on run, so let's have a look what's um, what uh, the result. Uh, hang on, let me just move it away. Still. Yeah, so this is what we get. Okay. It's, it's actually quite nice. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's not random. Random. So to, to randomize uh, this, we need to use just add a shuffle. Okay. Just connect this to this. For the seed, we just need a integer, integer slider. Just connect this to this and connect list to value. So now this is a randomized uh, uh, list, right? So let, let me just click on run. So this will take uh, the same amount of time just to randomize them. And if your yeah, if your computer's you know fast enough, uh, yeah, it's done. And then you can click on you can change this one to automatic. And then just click on change, change the number, click once, and it uh, will automatically change the, uh, give you a different, okay, different result. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, because my computer is quite slow, so I, <laughs> I better just use manual. And uh, yeah, so yeah, so this is it, very simple. All right, so let's just go through this. So first, uh, family types. So pick the uh, name of that family types, and all element of fa family type gives us all the all the family all the um, pattern based family on this on this uh, on this uh, uh, divided surface, right? And then we just use a set parameter, set by name. Okay, you, the, this is a material uh, parameter name. The value is a list of, you know, that takes one, two, three, is a, a material name. Go to a list, and then we just times uh, times the number of this, um, this list and minus the number of the material. So give us the same uh, amount of uh, uh, Material, so eventually it's a material, right? And then apply back to the element, and that that's all. So very simple. So just stop here, so you can just uh, have a look. Okay. So, and then, uh, so and then, for these pattern-based family, you can also delete. You can delete them if you want to, and just a little uh, uh, tips for you or tricks. So it's it's uh, sometimes it's a bit hard because you can first you always pick the whole thing, right? So it's a bit hard. You, sometimes you you need to tab twice, three times until then you can uh, pick one. Yeah, sometimes you will pick the whole thing. So easiest way to pick a. Uh, individual one so you can type uh, select one type i c okay i c is this isolate category okay isolate category i c okay so i c means currently so you can see this is uh, a temporary uh, uh, hide isolate uh, it's acti activated so it means currently in this view there's only these panels you won't be able to f pick the whole thing right so which means you can just press uh, press control and then you can just very easily just just pick individual one okay and then you can just press delete so yeah so this is it okay so um uh i think that's all uh, I'll, I'll check if if I didn't uh, upload this family uh, last time I will upload this 
so you can have a play uh, otherwise I think um, it's all good if you yeah if you have any questions please let me know I'll see you next time thank you